Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the video. If you're wondering how I did that weird effect on the strings, I'm going to show you in this video. That's what this is for. Because on my old channel, one of my older channels, I posted a video that took me, took like maybe five minutes to record. It took no effort. I just recorded it on my phone and put it on YouTube. I literally dropped my old cell phone into the sound hole of my guitar and had it pointing up. And I was able to get that same effect and now it has over 60,000 views. It took me no effort, but aside from all of the negative comments claiming that I'm tone deaf and how could I not realize that that's out of tune? Um, I got some positive comments saying this is awesome. I got some claiming even that I photoshopped the video, but a lot of the comments were just asking how do I do this effect for myself, so I thought I would just make a little video explaining how you can achieve that weird wavy string effect when you're playing guitar on camera. So the main thing, the first thing I want to say is it's not some type of like trick it is I guess an illusion but it's just it happens due to the way that most modern cameras actually capture light and capture video most cameras have something called shutter speed that you can adjust and the shutter speed is just how many times in a certain given time the shutter opens and closes so if the shutter speed is higher it's gonna open and close many times in a smaller period of time and if the shutter speed is lower it's going to open and close a lot less time. So I'm just going to show you a little example by lowering. Let's see what my shutter speed's at. I'm going to raise my shutter speed and you'll see it gets way darker. But in turn, my emotions should look a lot more fluid and faster. Whereas with the lower shutter, if I go the other way, the image will become really bright. I can adjust that by but my motions will not seem quite as smooth. They don't seem as fluid. So as you can see, if I move like this, there's a lot of uh, motion blur, but the higher the shutter speed, the less motion blur you're gonna get. I'm just gonna go like this as I raise the shutter speed. As you can see, it starts to get progressively less blurry as I keep going. So shutter speed, is used in a lot of different ways. Adjusting your shutter speed can get different effects. But in this case, <clears throat> it's actually due to something called rolling shutter. And most cameras use rolling shutter. iPhones, most Android phone cameras. I know this because many people who record those wavy string videos, they just drop their iPhone into a guitar, same as I did. I actually had an Android, but anyway, this effect is captured due to the fact that rolling shutter it's the way it takes in light is it takes in light from the top and then moves down to the bottom so I'll try to give you an example with this card you're the camera obviously <clears throat> here's the shutter covering it's gonna go like this extremely fast it's almost like the shutter is wiping the screen letting in the light and it's letting in the top pixels first as it moves down so it's gonna be like kind of like that, just down, down, constantly wiping the screen. And because of this, <laughs> there's a weird illusion when you're playing guitar. So for example, if you're playing guitar like this, you're not gonna get the same effect. <clears throat> but if you play guitar like this, you can get some weird things going on reason is the rolling shutter is going from the top to the bottom and if the strings are long ways like this then it affects the way that it looks because the strings are moving so fast so imagine the strings they're moving so fast that as it's moving the shutter is taking in the light and at the top frame the string might be at a position like this because it's going like this at the top frame it might be here, but by the time it gets down to here, it'll be moving and it'll end up here. So as that happens, it draws an image of the string going like this, even though obviously the string 
<clears throat> if you look at a string, it's not literally going like this. It's not going like a sound wave, like we. It's just shaking like this rapidly. And that rapid shaking though, as the shutter comes down, up here it will capture the image of light where the string is about right here, let's say here. And then as it goes down, it's still shaking. And then each position, <clears throat> because the rolling shutter is not as fast as the string, it causes this effect that is pretty cool, honestly. So if you wanna do this effect for yourself, all you need is a camera with rolling shutter, which like I said, most cameras have rolling shutter. But if you're on a phone, in order to get this effect, most phones don't allow you to adjust your shutter speed. So you might have to simply just go outside and due to the fact that there's bright sunlight, then it should automatically adjust your ISO and your shutter speed to give you an image where the shutter speed is high enough where you'll see this effect. And the best way in my opinion is just to if you have a guitar you're not too worried about and a phone you're not too worried about, drop the phone into the guitar while it's recording with the camera pointing outside, facing out of the sound hole, and then just record a video. Because if you do that, you don't have to play your guitar in this awkward position. In my one video I had to play the guitar like this. When I originally had it and I had the phone just dropped in here, I had to play the guitar like this which is a lot easier than trying to stand up and play the guitar like this. But anyway, I hope that cleared up some confusion. I'm sorry I'm not <laughs> better at explaining that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. If you learned something, push that like button. And if you wanna learn more in the future, push that subscribe button. I do guitar tutorials and just general videos about guitar and music. So let me know what you wanna see next in the comments. Thanks for watching, see you guys.